beginning to harvest moon. That's what I'm going to teach in this lesson. And somebody must know that I'm a huge Neil Young fan because somebody asked to learn this song and I was like all about it. So it's got some cool riffs in it, as you can see. And it's also in drop D tuning, which I'll talk a little more about in just a minute. I'll show you the chords. I'll show you the strum that I'm using. And then I will play the beginning of the song so that you can play it with me. And uh, the rest of the words and the chords will be in a link underneath this video. So let's get right to it. Here is the intro. So it starts with a D. It's not the standard D that you play down here, it's down here. And there'll be a tab in the music that you download and it'll show you. But I'll describe it here. So your index finger goes on the bottom string on the fifth fret, then you skip the sixth fret, go up to the seventh fret with your next two fingers, and that's on the second and third strings. Okay, so that's the first chord of the intro. Then it goes to a D6, and the D6 is you press down the bottom three strings on the seventh fret. So there's your D6. And then it goes to a D major seventh, and that starts at the ninth fret. So you've got um, the bottom string on the ninth fret, then the tenth fret on the uh, second string, and then the eleventh fret on the third string. And that's your D major seventh. So here's how that uh, intro is played. So you're going to play bass, down, then you're going to go to the D6 chord, down, up, down, then you're going to go to the D major 7th, alright, let's play that again. Turn the video off and play those three chords over and over again as slowly as you need to. Once it feels like the changes are becoming smooth and a little less effortless, then try to speed it up. If you play it too fast, you'll make mistakes and your fingers will remember those mistakes and it will take you longer to learn this section. And this is true with anything that you do on the guitar. Learn it slowly first and then gradually speed it up and you'll have it. All right, so that's the intro, and here are the chords for the body of the song. So there's an E minor seventh. Now because we're in drop D tuning, oh, I didn't explain that, did I? Drop D tuning, all right. So drop D tuning is the same as standard tuning, except this top string is a D instead of an E. So now I used my tuner to get to this D. Hopefully you'll have, you have a tuner also. If you don't, you can also listen to the octaves. So the fourth string from the bottom is a D. And then here is the top string. Can you hear how those are an octave apart? So sometimes that's a good way to tune too. All right, so drop D tuning for this song. So as I was about to say before, an E minor seventh is gonna look a little different because of that drop D. So you're pressing down the, the top three strings on the second fret and then using your little finger to hit the second string, well not hit it, press down the second string on the third fret. So that is an E minor seventh in a drop D tuning. If you want you can substitute an E minor and that'll work just fine. There's no Neil Young cop that's going to arrest you if you don't play an E minor seventh chord there. Uh, the body of the song also has a regular D. And there's a D6, and for the D6, all you do is lift up your third finger. So it's different than the D6 that you play in the intro. And then it goes to uh, D major 7th, and again, this is different than the one that's in the intro.
the strum for most of this song is bass down down up down up play that with me ready and bass start playing the song, I want you to hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can find out when I post new lessons. All right, so let's get started with this great song. Here's the intro. Ready and here on YouTube. I teach guitar and uh, mandolin and ukulele. Go to jamieanderson.com if you want to find out more about my original music or if you're interested in private Skype lessons. I have a long waiting list but I'd be happy to put you on the list. And do check out Patreon. It's one of the ways that I, you can support what I do so that I can keep doing these lessons for you. I'll put the link underneath this video. Thanks for tuning in.